Welcome back. In this short video, I will explain how to scrape some hidden information from a web page using the Chrome extension Web Scraper. In my previous video, I've showed you the basics of using a Web Scraper. Um, I've created a sitemap and under the root, we have created a um, division, a element or a box that contains all necessary information that we need and also we have um, created a page that's basically a link for other um, pages and within the box we have created um, review information, location information, time information, comment as the text selector here, the type of it. But we really missed one thing, that's the rating. Now I am going to show you how to do the rating. Okay, let me create a um, new element within um, the box or within the section that we have created. And we would like to name this new element or new thing rating. Well, let's try what type would this rating is used for. Okay. Obviously, it is not a text information. If we done um, selecting and do a data preview, there will be nothing um, scraped because obviously, in more it looks like a, a picture instead of a text information. So what what if we do image? And I will try the procedure again. Okay. But somehow nothing. Even though I clicked for several times, nothing appeared here. It really means that nothing would be scraped if I choose image. So um, let's try a different one. How about um, a element? Okay. Of course, it's an element, of, but how about the information that we need? Okay. If we just say it's our element and let's select this portion, do a data preview, there will be still nothing. So in order to know what this box you know, actually contains, um, I would suggest that we go back to the basics. Let's use the developer tool um, to inspect the portion here. After some inspection, we know that this image um, is also a subdivision within the page and it has some attributes information, um, hidden information here. It is a um, section that's called star and um, the label of it, the label of the star is actually the ARIO label. It equals to five star rating. If we can scroll down and find a um, rating that is not five star, let's do a inspection again. So for this case, um, the label equals to four star rating. So. That's how we know that um, this is actually the information that we need. This is called a um, attribute. Okay. And this attribute is a element attribute because this is obviously a element uh, within the page. So now we can come back. Instead of choose element, um, there's one choice called element attribute. We can scroll up and choose this part, but here 
there's one more option we need to fill. Um, it is what the attribute we want. If we can come back and just just do copy and paste, say um, by double clicking, I'm able to copy and click the original code from the developer's console. It's Aria label. Let me come back to Web Scraper, paste the information here. Make sure it's um, within the review selector. Let me do a data preview. So now it seems like we do have five star, three star, um, four star reviews. And um, don't forget to save it. We can always go back to the root and do a um, data preview to see whether our information looks good. Okay. And that will be it. We can then do um, scrape and do export to um, save data as usual. Thanks for watching.